Hi, this is Jeff. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to edit these uh, greeting card mock-up templates. Um, I'm starting with the horizontal greeting card, and I'm going to place a design basically right on the front. So I've taken a design that I've done, and because it's a PSD, um, you need to basically flatten the image. So you go to this drop-down box. Um, you can't see it, but basically click on this icon up here and then click on flatten image and it turns the whole graphic into a single layer. I'm just going to click uh, Control A for select all and then Control C to copy that. Go back to your file and then um, your template. Click on front side. You'll want to double click on this little uh, file icon here and that will open up the the file that you need to place your graphic in. So I'm just zooming out, print, uh, pressing Control T to resize my image, clicking Enter to save those, and zoom in a little bit. And if that looks good, her feet are cut off a little bit, so let's move her up. So that looks good. All I have to do is click Control S for saving it and then go back to my mock-up and then it's totally finished. You can of course add something on the inside but it's you know not really visible so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Um, once you're done with this you can go up to image and then image size and then change this to whatever you want if you're putting this on your website or you know Pinterest or Facebook or something you can change that. Um, to change the size and then just click file and then save for web and do the same thing you can change the file size here and then what kind of compression there is um, usually for f uh, photographs I'll leave it at JPEG and then high or, or very high is good and then save that to your desktop or wherever you want um, so that's really easy and uh, I'll move to the next one and show you another one of the templates. There's several in here. So this one shows you two different faces. Um, if you wanted to use a portrait um, graphic, so I have this one here. Again, anything that you're going to paste into those templates needs, needs to be flattened. And just a quick note, when you are flattening stuff, if this is a template that you want to reuse, just don't save it. You can close it out um, so it doesn't save the flattened graphic or whatever. Um, if you want to go back and edit those again, you'll need all those layers. So I'm just going to, I flattened it, and now I'm going to select all and then copy it. Go back to that template. Again, look for the file that or look for the layer that has this um, smart object graphic or thumbnail image on the bottom right double click that it'll open up this file and just paste your design and I'm just going to resize it because it's a little bit small I'm clicking control S to save it and uh, going back to that template and now you can see perfectly fits onto the template like that. This image here I'm going to flatten again to do the other side. And sorry you can't see this, it's, it's opening off the off to the side. So I'm just going to click Control S or Control A to select all, Control C to copy it, and I'm going to go back click on the layer that says greeting card 1, double click on the smart object, paste my design in, resize it by clicking control T, clicking enter to save those changes and then clicking save and then we'll go back and now you have your mockups all ready to go and then you, of course you can go in and 
save those to your desktop just like I showed you before. Um, here's another one that has that shows fronts and back of two cards. Um, it's the same method, basically clicking on smart object. You can turn on this eye icon here to see which one you're editing. And so you have a left and right same thing, you double click on those, paste in your flattened graphic, resize it to how it, however it looks good. Clicking save. And now you have your graphic placed into the template. I'm going to copy this one just to show you that. We'll do the right side. Pasting my graphic in, resizing it, making sure it lines up perfectly, clicking Control Save or Control S for save. Excuse me. And then going back, and now you have your right side completed. So that's basically how easy it is to edit those greeting card templates. Um, these smart objects make it really easy so it's basically just pasting in your designs. So I hope that was helpful and uh, good luck. I hope you create some awesome cards.